Biden picks Harris as his running mate. There you go. You know, okay, here's a hyper woke rad lip take. Are you ready for this? Don't you think it's kind of misogynistic to like toy around with women's feelings this way? One, only portray them as a simple prop for your political goals. And then secondly, to just like parade them around exclusively so you can get some additional marketing around the ultimate inevitable pick. Like, what is this, the fucking bachelor, dude? I don't know, man. Kind of misogynistic to me, dude. Sounds similar to Pepega affirmative action is racist. I mean, this is literally what Joe Biden did as far as like what went into his uh, choices of who he was going to make the VP is literally the racist depiction of affirmative action. And that's not just me who thinks this. It was a joke even in like fucking black Twitter. Isn't it fucked up to pick a cop VP while people are protesting the police? I guess. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, he, they're going to. They're going to continue with the, she was a progressive uh, DA meta, so it doesn't matter. All right, I guess it's time to follow Biden. What's your overall opinions of Kamala Harris herself? Um, I think that she is, again, a, a political operative, just as uh, all of these people that uh, are successful within the Democratic Party are. She is at least more progressive presenting on a multitude of issues than a lot of the other people who don't even hide that or who, who don't even make that effort, especially as someone from California. I, I think that we could go way further, way more blue in a state like California, but she's certainly more progressive than fucking Dianne Feinstein and Nancy Pelosi. So at least there's that. Was it really that fucked up about Biden? He announced that he would select a black female VP for diversity since he's a white man. And there are just few, just so few prominent black female politicians that speculations ran rampant. First of all, do you not understand how the fucking VP process works? I was I was memeing about the bachelorette shit or the bachelor shit, but like, what the fuck are you talking about? The entire VP process and the selection is all about fanfare and theatrics. They leaked, leaked information about who it could potentially be so that people would speculate over and over again so that there was more attention when the time came. That's That's literally the most significant purpose of the VP choice. Is it a good mood to pick someone from Cali instead of someone from more of a swing state like Georgia? Yeah, that's the other thing I was going to say. I don't think VP, VP sway one way or the other. There are obviously notable exceptions to that rule, but it literally doesn't matter. All the shit that I said about Kamala Harris still remains true. Kamala Harris, white or minority slash black, asking as a northern Norwegian. No, she's, um, she's Asian and, and black, right? Like, isn't she Indian and uh, black? I mean, I don't really give a shit what the fuck she is. It's always good Experience when Democrats, like, it doesn't matter either uh, way, uh, okay? I just, man. I just want to, once again, point out that this does not matter, okay? It does not matter. I need to stress this over and over again. It does not matter. But now that I've said that it does not matter, I would like to show you exactly how hilarious it is that the Democratic Party first locked themselves into a weird situation where they were like, it's going to be a black woman. Okay. So that was like bingo. Number one, why the fuck would you say that Two, And for reasons that I've mentioned before, by the you way, number one is silly justice. because it's like, you then you're devaluing father. everything they bring to the platform. And you're saying you're only choosing them because they're a black woman, which literally plays into every fucking affirmative action stereotype that Republicans point to all the time by just doing that. Obviously, your race or your background is only as important as, as it contributes to your worldview and the policies that you advocate for. Never forget that. Otherwise, you know, Candace Owens is woke by definition because she's a black woman too. Two, they chose a cop. <laughs> Career prosecutors are always going to have a litany of horrible things that they've done in terms of criminal justice, no matter how hard they try to portray themselves as pro progressive. But at a time when we have racial injustice at the forefront of the political conversation, I absolutely adore the fact that the Democratic Party decided to go with a segregationist who routinely lied about being arrested during the civil rights protests that he never actually fucking got arrested in a segregationist who was who worked with segregationists rather i'm, I'm using embellished uh, hyperbolic language obviously joe biden wasn't openly a segregationist he only advocated for uh, busing being bad because it was forced busing it would not be regarded well by the whites or the blacks in the racial jungle he said america was going to become but we went with a segregationist and a cop at a time when people are talking about criminal justice, justice policing and and the racial injustices that black people are subjected to 
the Democratic Party was like, we're going to go with a dude who has definitely had terrible fucking optics on the racial justice side and a cop. It doesn't even end there, though. The worst part about this, even though this doesn't matter, even though it doesn't matter, they went with a cop from California, the famous, notable swing state of California. Now, while I hold the position that your VP pick doesn't ultimately matter, these people claim that it does matter. So even if it does matter, why the fuck did they hurt themselves on virtually every single reason why the VP pick should matter? This will, you know, feed into the narrative from Republicans that claim that, uh, you know, Kamala Harris is a radical leftist. She was a uh, pro Medicare for all, even though she was fake pro Medicare for all. It's just, it's funny because like Kamala Harris, much like Pete Buttigieg was regarded by the media as someone you had to pay attention to someone that you should want to vote for. Kind of like Elizabeth Warren as well. They were super, like they were super heavy. They went hard on Kamala Harris. And the irony there was the fact that Kamala Harris was kind of unpopular, even in her own fucking home state. I don't even understand. I don't even understand why the fuck they would do this. <laughs> but hey, what do I know? This duo is still years ahead of Donald Trump. Don't be fucking ridiculous. And secondly, she's not the worst. I think Pete Buttigieg would have been worse. There are a number of different candidates like Michael Bloomberg, that would have been fucking worse. Kamala Harris is still much better than a lot of the choices that the administration could have gone with. This is a good pick. She's young, dynamic, tough debater who knows how to throw a punch, and she will help energize black voters that are younger. If you look at Biden's last event, come on, Lib Bizzle. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Energize black voters that are younger? Get the fuck out of here. Kamala Harris's, like, appeal for the black vote was inconsequential in comparison to someone like Bernie Sanders. Like, Bernie Sanders had an infinitely larger appeal within the younger black constituents than Kamala Harris did. Like, I don't hate this decision. I think there are infinitely worse people that they could have chosen. And I'm glad that they chose Kamala Harris over something even worse than that. And uh, overall, like even the fact the that they're choosing justice. a black woman you in and of itself is better devil. than choosing someone like fucking okay. Tim Kaine, which brought okay. literally nothing to the table. So I'm excited for the Kamala Harris choice from the marketability point of view, even though it is kind of like affirmative action low key to say, we're only choosing someone because they're black and a woman. That's really fucking dumb. But this notion that, that she's going to energize younger black voters is a silly one uh, when numbers themselves don't show that reality. The only reason why this is a remarkable choice is because after the Bernie bros, the only fucking crazy psychotic fandom Excuse on the me. internet that could I'm ever sorry. go up against the I'm MAGA psychopath is K-Hive. As a matter of fact, K-Hive is even crazier than the fucking Bernie Indian bros. Roots. So very excited for that because K-Hive sickos will destroy the Kamala MAGA sickos. You need to fight fire with fire. The K-Hive is pretty much like our... You know how I told you guys the Ottoman forces used to have like these crazy people that they would put in the front lines who like literally just would get locked in a mountain and like slap rock over and over again until their hands became bludgeoning weapons. They used to like literally uh, the berserkers. They used to call them Dele, which means crazy. Okay. That's our K hive. They are, they have been training themselves. They've been locked away in the mountainside, slapping fucking rocks. Okay. Absolutely. Just slapping rocks, completely naked, training themselves so that they can destroy the MAGA sickos. And if there is one force to be reckoned with, on the internet, within the Democratic Party's constituencies, it is the motherfucking K-Hive. They go balls to the fucking wall for someone as, like, boring and unpopular as Kamala Harris. If they can have a fandom that they've cultivated around someone like Kamala Harris, God only knows what happens when you unlock the true potential of the K-Hive. I'm telling you right now, ladies and gentlemen, these fucking sickos are going to be our saviors. There will be delicious content to be had. Also, Kamala Harris is, you know, decent prosecutor. Will definitely fucking out debate someone as boring as, uh, you know, Mike Pence. So that'll be interesting. And shit on Donald Trump too. So, Trump already dropped an attack ad on Kamala. God damn, dude, that's quick. By rushing to the radical left, embracing Bernie's plan for socialized medicine. What the fuck? Did I just literally just say this? I told you they were gonna say Kamala Harris is a Medicare for All supporter. She's a radical leftist. Oh my God, this is the most predictable fucking shit, dude. Oh my God, it's great. Calling for trillions in new taxes, attacking Joe Biden for racist policies. Voters rejected Harris. They smartly spotted a phony. 
But not Joe Biden. He's not that smart. Biden calls himself a transition candidate. He is handing over the reins to Kamala while they jointly embrace the radical left. Slow Joe and phony Kamala. Perfect together. Wrong for America. This is the most boomer ad I've seen. Legit 2012 GOP strategy that does not work. Yeah, I mean, 2020 GOP strategy literally is like, Kamala Harris was abducted by aliens when she was younger, you and that's why she's controlled by the Jewish the international death. conspiracy. Kamala Harris now. wants to vaccinate your children in the ass to make them all autistic and homosexual. Like, that's the 2020 GOP you campaign ad. She's death. working with the Three deep state. Percent. Deep state, deep in your ass. Like, that, that's a 2020 campaign. Uh, this is a 2012 campaign because it's weak. It's just like, oh, she's phony. The people that are going to be blinded by this are already gone, okay? At this stage, you're we're, we're working out the margins, okay? This is a fucking loser president going up against a loser candidacy. We're once again stuck in the perpetual democratic cycle of marginal victories that we etch out despite the fact that the entire fucking electoral college is designed to churn out Republican candidates with passionate enough supporters and swing states to win over okay that's it that's american politics completely reduced to a single fucking 280 character limit tweet that's it that's what we do every time i just don't i don't know what, what are you guys like these are the same people who think like oh mask wearing is no longer bad actually you because donald trump is doing it he's already won death. them over so everything else going forward is just like seasoning General election black voters are different from primary black voters, specifically in that younger demographic. Most younger black voters are highly apathetic, weren't being sampled in the primary polls. You need to see how it plays out. I think this is only justice. helps with turnout, but you won't fully move things in national polling. Devil. But if it does, it will be because Biden black support may increase even slightly, which will give him another point or two. I don't know, man. Donald Trump made gains on black support since 2016, despite the fact that he's an overt racist. Just think about that. And Joe Biden has lost black support since 2016 in comparison to Hillary Clinton. I don't know where this like notion is coming from that black voters justice. like Kamala Harris. I truly father. don't know. You really think Biden is better than Trump? He's actually brain dead. He can't even speak correctly. First of all, Trump can't either from time to time. So shut the fuck up. And secondly, Joe Biden is not just Joe Biden. Joe Biden is you his entire administration. I don't want to turn this into a David Pacman stream to be like Donald Trump. I mean, is he mentally unwell? I don't know. Let's take a look at his gait right here. Let's analyze his gait. I'm going to bring a specialist to look at that. But like Donald Trump is fucking unwell just as much as Joe Biden is. Maybe Joe Biden is worse at communicating than Donald Trump for sure. Don't act like Donald Trump is a big brain genius just because he was able to say woman, person, cameraman, TV or whatever the fuck it was. Is four years of Trump really worse than uh, eight years of Biden, Harris, potentially another Republican after? Uh, Yes. How do we stop the game of presidencies just swapping between red and blue every election? It's not going to happen. Do people understand the concept of the policy? It's like they just vote for who they like more as a you person. You don't yes. love the spirit of justice. You love your father, the devil. Hello, Dad. Please notice me. Kamala tweeted, Joe Biden can unify the American people because he's spent his life fighting for us. And as president, he'll build an America that lives up to our ideals. Despite the fact that I personally called him out during the debates where I said I was that little girl and then literally made motherfucking t-shirts with that punchline. I'm honored to join him as our party's nominee for vice president and do what it takes to make him our commander in chief. Bernie Sanders says, congratulations to Senator Kamala Harris who will make history as our next vice president. She understands what it takes to stand up for working people fight for health care for all and take down the most corrupt administration in history let's get to work and win trump adds since mid-july have claimed that a biden presidency means you won't be safe because he's gonna let criminals back out on the street today trump's campaign messages biden harris is a ticket to keeping inmates locked up choose your own adventure kamala harris fought to keep nonviolent inmates locked up so the california could use them for cheap labor okay guys going forward i'm just gonna run my stream from a year ago so that you can see what's happening right now because virtually every single thing i've said is literally happening at the speed of light holy fucking shit dude i'm just restreaming the the earlier stream from like last year early last year that's fucking nuts that is literally nuts it didn't even take them like five and a half minutes to go with this i'm failing to see how the dems are putting their best foot forward i'm thinking 2016 all over again you have attacked okay. me and lied. kamala harris is better than kamala tim kane kamala harris is better than fucking tim kane kamala harris is a better choice just by sheer virtue of being a black woman is better than tim kane so no 
and Joe Biden is a better candidate than Hillary Clinton. Jo not, let me rephrase that. Joe Biden is better liked than Hillary Clinton. His unfavorability is not as low as Hillary Clinton. So technically, this is a stronger ticket than 2016. So that's true. That is undeniably true. What do you think of uh, all the Kyle Kalinske types on Twitter shitting all over Kamala pick like there was a way better choice? I mean, it's understandable. Kamala Harris has a lot of weaknesses. At this stage, like, it doesn't matter. I can't. Guys, I cannot begin to stress this uh, enough, okay? I I've repeated myself like 700 times already. It literally doesn't fucking matter. So every conversation that we're having about Kamala Harris or whatever the fuck is just purely silly. It fucking doesn't matter. Even the biggest lib, like Lib Bizzle is like, oh, well, Kamala Harris might be able to move the needle on black votes by like 1% or 2%. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. At this stage, it's like, what are you going to fucking not vote for Joe Biden against Donald Trump? Because what, Kamala Harris is the VP? Really? That's like 12 people max. It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. I can't. That's why I said like, if it mattered, it's still hilariously bad, but it doesn't matter. Like, what were these people going to do? Not vote for Joe Biden if he chose like a white guy? What are you, insane? Oh, man. Like, P. Diddy was going to be like, oh, man, <laughs> I'm no longer voting. I'm no longer riding with Biden because he didn't choose a black woman. Like, okay, dude, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, dude, come on. In, uh, on a tick on the ticket, uh, she is not shying away from that. She didn't shy away from it uh, during her selection process either. Uh, and that's something uh, that Fuck. the Biden team grappled with a little bit, but it became very public. And a lot of women have already come uh, to her defense uh, on that question. So uh, that is a kind of a new way we are seeing 